The Royal Enfield Continental GT is a cafe racer designed to mate the past with a modern-day rider. The idea behind Royal Enfield Continental GT was simple. Give the customers a taste of an age-old icon. However, a lot of people have felt that the bike lacks raw power, something which cafe racers of the old were famous for. To answer those needs, in comes the Royal Enfield Continental GTT, the most powerful Conti yet. The Royal Enfield Continental GTT gets an RHB31 turbocharger from the Suzuki Jimmy. Modified by Moto Max from Australia, the Royal Enfield Continental GTT has an output boosted to 42 horsepower, at the rear wheel, from its original 29 ponies. The torque output has been doubled, from 44 newton meters. The compression ratio of 8.5 to 1 remains the same, and the boost provided by a Power Commander V with an auto tune module. The Royal Enfield Continental GTT gets a Golden Royal Enfield badge on the fuel tank, sporting a brushed metal paint finish. The front mud guard has been shortened, while the rims, spokes, and hubs are stock. The exhaust trap, as well as the leather tank belt, lends the bike a great look. The factory instrumentation has been lowered and the clip nose are new. The flat seat is new as well, but the foot pegs are stock, painted black. Part of the Royal Enfield Australia's 31-day custom bike build-off challenge, the Royal Enfield Continental GTT was created in just 60 hours. The manufacturer had also recently showcased a factory one-off-road version of the Royal Enfield Continental GT called Dirty Duck. For more updates subscribe MotoGuru.